Let's take a look at security management. In a multi-domain management environment, we have components such as the multi-domain management server, a multi-domain management log server, and a smart event server. Gateways receive their security policies from a domain inside the multi-domain management server, and they send logs to a log server. Security management is best done using a smart event server. The smart event is correlating single log messages to qualified events. The performance of the smart event server depends on the log rate and the activity that is performed, how many queries are done. So in one deployment option, you can have one smart event server that is a global object. And this is then allowing that multiple log domains can send their log messages and you can correlate events. Since R81 we have the option that a single domain can have a single smart event server so only logs of this domain are correlated. In a multi-domain security management environment we have high availability and load sharing options. It can be achieved deploying multiple multi-domain management servers. The first one will be the primary server and then you have one or multiple secondary servers. You can select a management domain to be active on one multi-domain management server and other domains to be active on another server. It is recommended that for high log volume you are selecting to deploy a multi-domain log server which is receiving the logs from the security gateways. Of course, you always have the option to deploy log instances on the multi-domain log server as well. Now it's time to practice. I am connected to a multi-domain management server and this multi-domain management system is consisting of two servers a primary multi-domain management server, one secondary multi-domain management server and a multi-domain log server. You can see that there are two management domains and currently on this primary manage multi-domain management server there are two domains active. I will now activate this management domain on this secondary management server. You see that you are connecting to a server that is currently in standby mode and if you use the high availability menu you can see that this domain is currently in standby so I set it to active. We now see that this multi-domain management server has this domain active and this multi-domain management server has this active. You see the status has now changed and now I'm connecting to the secondary multi-domain management server to manage the management domain number two. We now can ma manage policies and gateways just on any regular security management server. Let's look how the gateway logging is configured. We are now connected to the management domain number one and we review the log configuration of a security gateway. The security gateway is configured to have as a primary log server the dedicated multi-domain management log server and in case this instance is not available logs will be sent to the log instance that is available on the domain management server itself. You have the option of course to define other instances such as in this case the dedicated smart event that is part of this environment. 
R81 allows you to have a smart event server as an object inside the management domain. You can define the logs that are sent to this smart event server using the smart event settings menu that is opening the relevant dashboard. You see that only the domain number one is used and the correlation unit is reading logs from the dedicated log server. Thank you for your attention.